So, okay, here's the situation. Your phone's working perfectly. You probably get up in the morning, go to your phone, completely black screened. Now, you know, I know this is really upsetting, it's really frustrating, but please don't panic, all right? Just chill out, because it's quite likely that your phone, there's nothing actually broken with your phone. It is a just a software fault. And you can probably still use Siri, and your phone might even receive calls. It's just that your screen isn't gonna work. What I'm gonna show you here is the first step in getting your phone working again. So what we need to do is do a full reset of your phone. Now don't worry here, don't stress out, you're not going to lose any text, pictures or contacts or anything like that. It's perfectly safe. Right, what you do is you simultaneously push down the start button and the home button at the same time until the Apple logo appears. Once you see the Apple logo, just release your fingers off the buttons, put the phone down and just leave it alone. Don't touch it, just let it do its thing. So you've now started the reboot process. Now depending on your phone, you know, how big the memory is, how many apps you have on your phone, etc. This might take just a couple of minutes, um, might take sort of longer. This phone that I'm using here is a brand new phone, so it's not going to take any time at all because there's nothing on it. Your phone's going to take a little, a little longer, but hopefully you should see your welcome screen and then your home screen pop right up. Now, if you're still staring at a black screen, you're still really, really frustrated, don't worry, I'm going to come back to you. Just give me one minute, I'm going to come back to you with another idea to try. Okay, right, so your phone's working, yeah, brilliant. You're grabbing that mouse button, you're giving me a great click on the thumbs up, yep, much appreciated. Um, but what you might find is that, you know, after a day, this problem reoccurs. Now, if this does reoccur, well, you've got to think why. And the most likely cause is that you may have downloaded an app recently that is a rogue app, or possibly one of your apps is updated like they do all the time and in turn that has caused your phone to crash. So what I'd recommend is just Google the apps that you've got on your phone and just see if anyone else is having the same problem as yourself because you can get there'll be tens of thousands of people with their phones crashing. And one final thing to check, just check your phone's memory usage. Just make sure that you're not getting very, very close to your phone's capacity of its memory because that can also occasionally make the phone unstable and cause things like this to happen. So you might just have to delete some video or maybe a couple of apps to give yourself a little bit more memory. Just a couple of things there to try. Right, back to you people that are still staring at a blank screen. Sorry to leave you hanging for quite some time. Now, let's start with the obvious. Now, your phone has had a blank screen for quite some time. Well, it's possible that your battery has been depleted because how can you tell because you can't see the battery logo? So, the first thing I would suggest is to put some charge into your phone. So, go and get your iPhone charger insert it into the bottom of your phone but don't connect it to a computer at this stage but instead connect it straight into the wall socket and you can either leave it on charge for half an hour and then carry on or you can do this uh, reset with the actual phone connected to the charger no problem so now you know you've got some power in your phone same as before hold down the on off button and the home button at the same time and hopefully you'll see that apple logo appear once the apple logo appears just put the phone down let it reboot don't play about with it now if you're still stuck staring at a black screen i've got one more suggestion to try and that involves a backup and restore in itunes now i'm not going to go into great detail here because i did make a video on this for the iPhone 4 4s and what I shall do is a pop-up will appear on your screen now and I suggest that you go away and have a look at that detailed video in doing this process but I'll just go through the basics now for you so firstly I would suggest that you use a computer for your backup restore it's better if you use a computer that you've used before maybe to download uh, music from iTunes because it's likely that iTunes would have already created a backup file for your phone and you just may be able to follow the on-screen prompts now, one golden golden rule when you're doing a restore from iTunes is that you back up the phone first okay because if you just go for a restore you're going to return to factory settings and you will lose everything on your phone so that's really really important so with the iTunes restore hopefully you now have a working phone and as before just check the apps and check your memory storage capacity Right, that's about all I can tell you on this video. I really, really hope this has helped to fix your phone. Apologies if not, but that's about as far as I'm able to go. So I'd like to say, as always, cheers and thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.